Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time, I know I have been absolutely swamped with uni work, but we're here today to give you a final update of our house. Um, well, it's not actually my house, it's Jordan's house, but we have completely renovated it now. It is completely done. We have tenants moving in in about three days. Yeah, I think on the fifth. Yeah, so we've got tenants moving in in three days and everything is done so we're going to give you a tour of the house it is empty right now so our tenants are going to furnish it themselves but it is honestly such an unbelievable change i can't believe how amazing it is it doesn't feel like the same house at all yeah not at all and i'll include in this i'll include some before videos of uh, the house and you can see like a real comparison because when you put them side to side it is actually crazy how much different it is and how much work has been put in it, into this house. There is one bit as well that stands out for me the most. I'm not going to say it but you'll, you'll see. I think it looks unreal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's start the tour. MTV okay. Cribs. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Okay, so we're starting at the front of the house. As you can see, we've got a brand new door and these stones have been put in down here so it's not just a load of crap anymore. It actually looks nice outside the front of the house. We also have new windows, which are absolutely great. And that light was like cool, And a funky doormat. But yeah, a funky doormat. Coming into the house, we have brand new carpets. Brand new carpets down here. And a door we can't show apparently. <laughs> okay, coming into the living room. This is probably my favorite room to be honest. I just think that it's so nice. We've got lovely new blinds. These blinds are all the way through the house. And we kind of went for like a very white and gray toned house. So that when people come in, it's very modern. They can put whatever they want in there. Grey goes with a lot of colours and so is white, so yeah. Keep it nice and light as well. Yeah, keeping it very light. The floors, I picked out the floors. I think they're absolutely lovely. Kind of like a wood effect. Laminate, are they? Are they laminate? Yes, they are laminate. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just a great colour and I love them. So if you remember, me absolutely scrubbing the death out of this wall, well all the walls to be honest, and they were so dirty and so dark and a couple of coats of paint and it looks great. Coming into the kitchen, again the kitchen is such a lovely room, very impressed with this one. We have new everything, literally everything has been replaced in the kitchen. Uh, so if you remember before, we had this most disgusting oven ever, but this is brand new. Look at that. Nice and sparkly. Nice and sparkly, nice and shiny. All the cupboards have been replaced, so there's not a single speck of mould in sight. We have a new extractor pan because before it had grease like built up. But didn't it was so gross and rancid. it stank. Yeah. New fridge. So this fridge has literally come in yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Got delivered yesterday. Brand new fridge. Uh, we weren't going to put a fridge in here originally, but the tenants requested it, so we put one in. Uh, what else? We've got a brand new washing machine. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this dries as well, you know, because you know some washing machines do dryer, and I don't think it does. We've got a brand new washing machine. Looking very observant as always. Oh, <laughs> it's just lovely, just a lovely, lovely kitchen. One of Jordan's dad's favourite parts about this whole kitchen is the light that they put in underneath this cupboard. He just kept going on about it, it's so funny. Um, but yeah, we wanted it to be very bright and very light in here, but also kind of like homely as well. So we got this light up here, uh, which was a lot better than the old light. And yeah, let's go to the bathroom. The whole house does seem so much brighter. Yeah. It seems so dull and dingy before. Well, yeah, because the walls before were like a magnolia, like a yellow kind of color, and they were just so dark. And so everything was like really dark walls, purple everywhere. Like, I think it does make such a difference having the white and the gray because it just brightens up the whole place. And then with the countertops like this, they're such a contrast to the 
to the floors and but they're still like the same sort of colours so it is good. I do like that. So behind this door there used to be a cupboard and it was just full of loads of crap but now it is a toilet. So I'm pretty sure we still do have to paint these pipes to be honest um, but yeah it's just a perfect tiny toilet. It's just such a convenient little space to have a toilet and you can even put your vac vacuum in there as well. <laughs> oh, it's a nice toilet though and that was quite cheap. The guy did it for quite a good price. Yeah. Okay, let's go Now to on to my favourite part. Jordan's favourite part, the garden. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure if you guys can remember, but how bad it was before and how different it looks now. So before in the garden, we had a massive mounded overgrown tree. It was absolutely awful right in the middle here. There was a shed left at the back, which was full of crap. Um, I think this is the same washing line, to be honest, <laughs> but I think it's been cleaned. <laughs> um, and yeah. So the, the grass was all matted before and it was just like horrible, you couldn't mow it or anything like that. So that all came up and now there is Fresh turf. brand new turf looking absolutely lovely. And you couldn't even see these before. So these have had a good scrub and they've actually came up really well. Oh, and a brand new lawnmower. Didn't realise. I'm getting that. Did you work your feet? Um, but there's not really much difference. There's not much of a difference with the stairs, the landing kind of area. Everything's just been painted and the carpet is new. And then obviously windows, like over here. Yeah, the windows have been put in. All the windows in the house have been replaced. So yeah, in here is the airing cupboard. Oh, there's a light for a burn, I didn't realize that. Uh, the airing cupboard, Jordan's dad fitted these shelves, which he was very proud of himself, wasn't he? Yeah. Because he's not a, like a very... He's not a handyman. He's not, well, he is a handyman, but he's not a carpenter. Oh, what, <laughs> what the word is? That sounds so weird in my head then. Carpenter? Yeah. But, nice little airing cupboard. They can put all of their bits and bobs in there. <laughs> so, this is bedroom number two. Not sure why we're doing it this way. This is... You could fit a double bed in here, it would be a squeeze, it is a single bedroom to be honest. This has turned out so lovely as well, if you remember there was a bed here where I'm standing and it was the definition of disgusting. It was honestly like just black, it was so dirty. There was also a massive um, patch of like so dirt, it's, yeah, smoke, smoke, smoke on the walls which we completely, this whole house has been scrubbed with an inch of its life, within an inch of its life, honestly. Um, so, yeah, new blinds as well. I don't actually... How Twist do you... it, yeah. No, I wanted to... Oh! Ooh, lighting. So you can see the garden from here. So that's a view of the garden from up here. It's a very nice garden, to be honest. I think the turf looks so lovely. It's good that there's no weeds. In here is the cupboard. Um, the wardrobe. The wardrobe. There's not really a lot to say about it. It's a wardrobe and we haven't really done anything to it apart from paint it. Okay, let's go through to bedroom number one. So this is a slightly bigger bedroom. It's definitely a double bed. Uh, everything's been painted. I think this is the same lampshade, isn't it? But it's been cleaned. Uh, and then we've also got the same shelves from before, but they've been cleaned as well. And also the same mirror over here. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything's been painted, freshen up, and it looks great. I really like this room, to be honest. So we have this small cupboard here, which has a little bit of carpet. Um, I'm not sure what you would put in there, to be honest. Carpet pros. And then this is the other cupboard. So I don't know whether you can tell, but Jordan's dad decided to paint the wardrobes 
like a magnolia colour and then paint the actual rooms white and it was just so because they were already magnolia it was just so he didn't have to do like a load of coats in the wardrobe because to be honest it's a wardrobe you don't really need doesn't doesn't matter if it's a fashion statement does it no okay and then to the final part the bathroom <laughs> so if you remember I literally spent all day scrubbing this bathroom. It was so filthy. When we came here, there was hamsters. <laughs> it was literally hamsters in the bathtub. Like, that, that shower hadn't been used for months. There was hamsters in the bathtub. There was um, just grime everywhere. This shower head was absolutely disgusting. So I spent all day cleaning this bathroom. Um, and getting all in like the nooks and crannies like so that everything was absolutely spotless there has been new flooring put in which I absolutely love I chose this flooring so that it would kind of match the downstairs flooring because I wanted it to be uh, like quite what's that word it flows Flowed all the way through the house so the flooring in the house is all grey but it's all kind of like similar shades of grey so the carpet is a lot darker than the flooring downstairs and the bathroom flooring but they both have like the same tones in them so the same thing yeah. yeah and then we've got a new bath mat as well that's a really nice bath mat actually where did we get that from i don't know Asta, i think it's nice I would have fluffy. So. um and we've got a new shower head a new shower curtain uh and all the little bits and bobs that you need a new mirror for in here and yeah it just looks so much nicer yeah but i absolutely love this bathroom i think it's so lovely new window as well everything is brand new apart from the bath and the toilet and the sink so not everything i'm <laughs> <laughs> not gonna have to up these carpets and you almost fell down the stairs and out yeah. the door it's cold in this house though we need to get the heating on before the tenants come in. Okay then, this has been the house and it's lovely. Okay, so that's the house. We are absolutely in love with it and um, I'm very excited that it's finished now. It's been a lot of stress, not really for us necessarily. Your dad has put a lot of hard work into this. So thanks John's dad for doing most of the work um but no it is it has turned out it has turned out so lovely and we're so impressed so proud of it no it really has been worthwhile and we have enjoyed this very much can't wait to do it again i've actually learned so much doing this not only about uh, renovating but how long things actually take yeah like, this has taken so much longer than we anticipated yeah like the process of it has taken we thought that um so we completed on this in November? Yeah. October? I can't remember. October or November and we thought that it would be done by January and it is April. So yeah, it has been a long time and there's things that you can't anticipate when you're renovating a house. Um, so when we first came in to this house we didn't want to rip out the kitchen, we were just going to keep the kitchen in there um, and then also keep the carpets. We were, Was it the carpets? I think it's all the floors. Flooring. Yeah, right, we were yeah. going to keep the, ki uh, the kitchen and living room floors throughout. But I don't know if you remember, but the actual state of the house was a lot worse than we anticipated it would be. So everything had to go. We absolutely had to rip everything out. And um, I'm very glad that we did that, even though it's a lot more money than we anticipated. I'm saying anticipated a lot. <laughs> Even though it's a lot more money than we thought it would be, it has worked out a lot better. Oh yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I'm so happy with how it has turned out and everything does look so smart. Yeah, and we hope that you guys like it as well. Let us know what you think about the house down in the comments and um, if we do anything like this again, if we renovate a house again, we'll definitely keep you in the loop because it was been, it's, it's been so fun documenting been fun. every single stage of this renovation. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, then please leave a comment down below or let me know on my Instagram, which is Hill underscore and we will see you in my next video, which will be after I finish my, my uni, my third year. Oh my gosh, it's so not stressful. Long, not, long. not long, six weeks.
Oh, 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 oh,